what is up everybody welcome back this is the 2022 model 3 rear wheel drive with the new lfp battery we're here at the link supercharger to do the zero to a hundred supercharging test i've been wanting to do this one for so long have a look around it's a complete circus here at the link today look almost every th they have 32 stalls and almost every single stall is taken it is a circus show here at the high roller at the link 250 kilowatts v3 supercharging i swear when i saw all these cars rolling i thought hertz came to town with all the white model threes can you believe it look at this setup so originally when i had my 2018 model 3 wheel wheel drive we came out here to the link to the, do the two percent to a hundred percent and i kind of botched it i had some bad music things were blacking out but today i'm hoping to get a great supercharging test for the brand new 2022 rear wheel drive look at all these teslas they're all coming out about to run me over I do want to point out here on this side of the link that you have the level two destination chargers as well. When I pulled in with almost no battery, I thought for a second I was going to have to plug in and get some juice. When you're doing a supercharger test and you're running down the mileage, there's no room for error. You don't want to be stuck out without any charge. This is the high roller at the link right off of Flamingo Boulevard. I do want to show you this plug. I thought this one was going to be out of order, but it's got some electrical tape on it. But thankfully, we're plugged in. And one thing about this supercharger is we're not sharing any of the juice from the other superchargers. I was able to get full power with this whole circus going on out here. I tell you that. All right, everybody, we've made it to the Link Supercharger, and it is a circus out here. All the stalls are filled except for the one we're fitting in, and it has two stalls out of order. What a bad time to do this review. Now that we're at currently at 2% state of charge, which is seven miles on the battery. We're gonna do 2% to 100%. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and get plugged in. I've got the timer ready to go. Let's hope we get some charge. All right, now this charger that I just plugged into had tape all around the charger. I'm not sure if this one's going to work, but let's go ahead and see if we can move this up. This is the new UI for V11, so you can see we're getting, we are ramping up 70 kilowatts. Where is our charging at now? Got to find the charging screen. Let's see, charging, charging. We're currently at 765 miles an hour, 170 kilowatts. So it is working. We are getting charged. Let's go ahead and hit the start button. Where is the charging meter? Probably should have done this in advance. Thirteen miles of range, five percent battery. This is going to be 2% to 100% if the charger lets us do it. Currently at 169 kilowatts per hour, 763 miles. This is the 2022 standard range rear wheel drive. And where is that charging meter? I don't like the UI. It's not as good. Before, it used to have all the charging information right here, front and center. Looks like that's all we're gonna get for our charging information. Let me show you a little bit closer. Go to charging. I guess we can use this one. We're gonna go straight to 100%. I wonder if you click that. So now we're at, yeah, if you click it here, you also get the mileage here on the screen. So this is the screen we're gonna use for our test. We're currently a minute and 20 seconds in. We've gained about 8% in just a couple of minutes. Very good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and speed it up. Hang on for the ride.
Okay. Stop in there real quick. We got 114 kilowatts. We're at 512 miles an hour. Doing really good on this uh, standard range so far. We were able to hit about 170 kilowatts, not quite the 250 that you get out of the long range or the performance. All right, we're at 70%, still currently getting 50 kilowatts, which is actually pretty good, in my opinion. 225 miles an hour, we've added 41 kilowatts to the battery. So it's thought to believe that we have 60 kilowatts. Someone said we have 62 kilowatt battery on this new LFP for 2022. We're gonna be charging to 100% state of charge, and we're currently at 192 miles. So in about 26 minutes, we've got 185 miles. We've added a 200 miles in about 30 minutes, really good. We're about 76%. Now, as you guys know, when you get to about 80% and further, it's gonna take a little bit longer to charge to 100%. It's, it's saying we have about 35 minutes remaining. We'll have to see. Currently at about 44 kilowatts. Now, we'll mention we did have the HVAC on, the heat on, for about up to 70%, but it didn't look like it, it affected the uh, kilowatts at all. All right, we've hit 90%. We're still tapered down to 32 kilowatts coming in at 144 
miles per hour. We've added 53 kilowatts, which is 238 miles. So we've added a total of 238 miles in about 43 minutes. Getting close to full 272 miles. We're at charging at nine kilowatts. We're at 100% state of charge. So it took us right at an hour and 20, 20 seconds. We're almost done. Just need one more mile to complete this. We just hit 273 miles on 100% state of charge. It still says we got, it, it does say charging complete. So it looks like we are finishing up. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for our 2% to 100% state of charge. We're here at the Link High Roller V3 Superchargers, 250 kilowatts. Have a look. It's just a circus today. I've never seen so many Teslas at this location. Look around. You got the level twos on the outside. Tesla's everywhere. We've been seeing a traffic jam at the entrance. You got to have a gate code to get in over here. And there's been nothing but Teslas stacking up. Okay. Apologize. I opened that guy's car. That was so funny. Oh, I thought it was mine. <laughs>